the duel today was we had a race across balance beams, untying bags. Once we got one bag untied, we had to drop it on the table and just put it in numerical order. I mean, it wasn't like this puzzle that, you know, you had to have a college degree to figure out how to do it. You can't count to 100, you can fi figure out the puzzle. It was just the matter of who could do it the quickest. So I was a little nervous because it was a speed, something with speed. However, my advantage was I was, I'm a lot smaller than the guys. So easy for me to bend down to untie the bags. A lot harder for them with their bigger fingers to bend down on that tiny little beam. So um, it was a perfect challenge set up for me. It felt so good. It felt so good going into that challenge. You know, like I said, NFL player and a West Point graduate, and then me, a grandma, right? And I have to go up against these guys. It felt amazing. And more than anything, hopefully, I'm a little bit in John's head at this point. Um, hopefully he's thinking, wow, not only did she win, she kind of smoked us. Um, again, that was my, my plan was don't underestimate me. Don't ever, ever, ever underestimate me because when you do, that's, that's when I get the upper hand on you. So it felt good to win. So after you win the challenge, you are allowed to give a clue to the hidden idol to whomever you want, which we've already set the precedent is a huge big target on your back if you do that. Um, I gave the clue to Vetus just kind of sending out another signal that look at target needs to be on Vetus everybody they're playing this game and they're playing it hard and nobody knows it and Redemption Island the dead can talk and I'm doing what I can to let them know that they are huge threats without hopefully putting too big of a target on my daughter